Okay. Um, <laughs> ah, boy. Before I begin this video, let me say that um, I'm trying to use this under the fair use statute for education purpose only. I mean, we all expected this to happen, but we didn't know that it's moving as quickly as it is. I knew it was happening in Asia very quickly. But this uh, video is about London, though, in the West. And why do you see coffee shops, you know, I've seen coffee shops, especially in Taiwan, I mean, and China, Taiwan, and mainland China, Japan too, Japan. I saw in Japan too. Uh, Taiwan, mainland China, uh, and Japan were. And in the case of Japan, it was, goes back about three years. Taiwan, uh, it's about the same thing, yeah. Anyway, man, <laughs> better watch out. This is coming to a place near you when Amazon starts doing it. Um, everybody's going to be doing this. And the funny thing is that women are going to be the one hit most hard and then after women it's going to be college students which include women also but men who are college students who who work these stores during the night stocking the shelves and you know it's a job that they make some extra cash in. a lot of people who are entering the country who are moving from i don't know different countries to America and this is their first job when they come to America working in a department store somewhere until they finish school and move up the ladder to co-op America but those of uh, American um, citizenship who didn't finish high school or even if you finish high school and you go to college, in the case of black men and women, um, you end up working in a place like this. Like Amazon or Walmart or Target. Because uh, getting hired is that hard, that difficult. And then, and, and after you get hired, it's hard to move up the ladder, especially in places like this. So, <laughs> this is going to be a wake-up call when it hits the shores of the U.S. And there are no unions in the U.S. to protect those workers because the people in America allow the unions to get crushed. So, anyway, I'm going to add the video on uh, I hope those of you who are listening, man, you better prepare. I hope you are prepared. Hmm. Seriously. Wow. And you know, well, this there's a thing called chat. Chat. There's a new chat bot out that really can can run a say an insurance office. You go in, sit down in front of the computer, the computer asks you a question, you answer the question, and it spits out. A contract for your car, your house, your life. And nobody's around watching it. There are about three or four people in, in headquarters who are looking at this computer. Every contract that it puts out. And that's it. So you can see where this thing is going to spread to really quickly. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to add the video and uh, I hope you pay attention. All right, peace. So I was in London a few days ago and I saw something that I've never seen before. And I've been thinking about it ever since. It's kind of bothering me. Have you guys seen these new stores that Amazon is building? There's no cashiers, no checkout area, 
no cash registers. You just scan your Amazon app, walk in, take anything you want, walk out, and your Amazon account is automatically charged and a receipt is sent to you by email. I'm honestly not sure what to think about this. On the one hand, it is very convenient, even kind of cool. On the other hand, it feels like the next level of surveillance. It feels kind of scary to be normalizing this. And it is going to be normalized. This is the future of grocery shopping and probably all shopping. And I'll tell you why. Walmart, for example, says that they lose about $3 billion a year from theft. But it's basically impossible to steal from a store like this. You can go ahead and try, take anything you want, stick it in your pocket and walk out. You're still going to be charged. You can't even get into the store without scanning your app. They know who you are the moment you walk through the door and they've access to your credit card. This means that Amazon stores will automatically be more profitable and that will force all the other stores to either drop their prices to compete or adopt the same model. And I suspect they'll do the latter. So imagine that in the not too distant future, shopping as a whole is going to be basically automated surveillance. Interesting as well that the book of Revelation says that there's going to be a time when you won't be able to buy or sell without a particular mark. You can really see how something like that is possible now. You can't just walk into a store like this and try to buy something with cash. It's not even that they won't let you use cash. You just can't. It's impossible. So again, it's convenient, but I think kind of scary. What do you guys think?